LGBTQ community and its allies, go to www.relationshipunleashed.com. On the World Wide Web, relationshipunleashed.com. All donations are tax deductible. Come on, join the movement. By the way, I don't need a badge or a gun. I carry a microphone. Let's talk about in Memphis, condoms are free from Planned Parenthood and their friends all over town. Nothing sexier than free. So check out freecondomsmemphis.org and get some. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about sex. Mm-hmm. Want to talk about sex? Talk about condoms at freecondomsmemphis.org. Get some before you get some. Freecondomsmemphis.org. Let's talk about sex, baby. Dear HIV, I may have gotten you. What we have left? Um, one more starting but you won't One more commercial. Never get the best of me. I take charge of my health. I take my HIV meds every day. I don't just live with you. I live well with you. HIV treatment works. Get in care. Stay in care. Live well. Choices is a nonprofit sexual health clinic in Midtown Memphis. We accept 10 care and offer patient assistance to help pay for needed services. <laughs> Choices is proud to provide comprehensive reproductive health services in an LGBTQ affirming environment. We offer a wide range of services such as general wellness, fertility assistance, STI testing and treatment, reproductive health services for people living with HIV, including PrEP and PEP, birth control, Gardasil vaccinations, abortion services, mis- Carriage management and services for trans and gender non-conforming people, including hormone replacement therapy. Everybody needs choices. Somewhere between psychotic and iconic. Somewhere between I want it and I got it. Somewhere between I'm so mad. And we're back. And we're back. Can you hear me, Dave? Yes. I can't hear myself. Okay. okay. I hope that was uh, Drake and not Kanye. It was Drake. Okay, good. <laughs> Kanye banned from this show. Right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good now. So uh, we're talking about uh, Bill Cosby and his conviction in this the uh, recent case for. Uh, being a sexual predator, and uh, the, the debate is, you know, there's always the tendency to blame the victim, and somehow believing that the victim contributed to whatever type of egregious act happened to them, and there's a a, there's a, a common theme here, you know, where people always want to know, we got questions on the Facebook, what time was it that she was at his house, and why was she at his house, and, you know, that sets up, you know, this thing, one of the reasons that people don't come forward, you know, because you get questions like this. And it was also said during the interrogation of the trial, how the defense attorney framed the women who uh, was accusing Cosby. And so we gotta be careful when we do that. And, um, you know, that's just, it's just an unfair tendency uh, to, to blame the victim. But, hold on, let me, let me get on. Uh, let, you no, get no get you have, it, everybody has to have a due process. He got his two brush process. Right, so he got a turn to fight for him. She got a turn to fight for her. But so they got to ask the question. has been decided. No, I hear you, but okay. what I'm saying is you still have to ask questions in order to determine what happened. So you just can't go in the room and say, you're guilty. No, we, 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 we don't have to even fight the case because we got, we got you, you said the, the deposition. We got excerpts from the deposition. You said exactly what happened. He was, he was tried by 12 and... Uh, Everything that happened happened because of his actions, his actions alone. And the ones that, that did participate in it and maybe went back and had second thoughts about him, then that's up for debate. But he was tried on this one particular case. So to stop the argument back and forth to say that, you know, that it was too old and the statute of limitation ran out, there is a law that uh, does uh, institute a statute of limitation for this type of crime. And those other women that was 30 years ago, you're absolutely right. 
but that doesn't absolve him from civil liability with those women. And that case there is also uh, pending. Uh, uh, Miss Miss Alford is the attorney. She she's a bulldog. So she has a lot of those women that uh, came forward with him, some 50 plus women. And but this particular lady here was the one that got the conviction because her case was recent, a 2004 case uh, against Mr. Cosby. And that's why he was found guilty. But David asked about um, men drugging women. There's a recent case. Who asked about that? Recent. You said, why would he want to drug a woman and have sex with somebody that's laying there? You know, like, that's an that's a illness. So there is a recent case of another prominent person, ex-NFL star Darren Shopper. He was on NFL Prime TV, a stellar playing career with gold, uh, the uh, Green Bay Packers. He got 18 years for drugging and raping women. Very handsome uh, man. And there is no reason for him to go and do the things he did. At the time when this happened, he had just retired from the New Orleans Saints. He was working on the NFL Network, and this was like 2016. So he's 40 years old, um, and he's gone. He, he's gone up the river. He, you know, he got that, 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 that suit on, that head on in life, where he was a serial rapist. And he was doing the same thing. He was convicted. Of, he was on a, 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 went from city to city in the United States, traveling as part of his job. Uh, he played in the Super Bowl. He was a pro bowler, uh, accomplished in his career, very handsome, nice-looking man, could have got any woman that he wanted, but he opted to drug them and rape them. And it was four cities, namely, that uh, they got him in. He was the Phoenix, Los Angeles, uh, Las uh, Vegas, and he would meet the women at the hotel that he stayed at or at clubs, take them back to his room, probably somebody that was like good, and, and he would give them uh, drugs, anti-anxiety drugs, and sedatives in his drinks, and in their drinks, and he raped them. It's an illness, once again. Mm -hmm. It's called uh, Somonelia, S-O-M-N-O-P-H-I-L-I-A. It's when a man or a woman derives sexual arousal from someone who is sleeping or otherwise unconscious. So once again, these people are sick, and so the name of the disease or the illness is called S-O-M-N-O-P-H-I-L-I-A. And these individuals derive sexual arousal off of having sex with someone who is sleeping or unconscious. And so... Uh, these individuals are sick and we need to figure out what's going on, why this illness is coming uh, up, uh, why they enjoy this. So this is, this is it's deeper than just date rape drugs and all this. These people are sick. They need help because these people hurt uh, more people than we know of. Matter of fact, they, these are just reported cases. So just imagine how many unreported cases Bill Cosby has, or this other guy you just mentioned. So you got 50 people who testified in this courtroom. I'm pretty sure it's more than 50. But that's a, there's, there's been unrefutable, irrefutable evidence to, to say that this is not about pleasure. Rape is also about power and control. It's never about a, a physical act of pleasure. That's not that's not what it's about. It's, no, I didn't say that. I said yeah, they, so these people are they, sick. Yeah, yeah, they, they, and I think, I, I believe that, uh, the fame, being given anything and everything that you want. Well, you said that that was the culture of Hollywood. No, well, so if that was the culture of Hollywood, and you see because not only was, was did, did women come forward with, with him, they came forward with Harvey Weinstein. Were they unconscious with Harvey Weinstein? Uh, I don't know, but he, he got a whole bunch of them. That, uh, uh, you had women to come forward with Russell Simmons. Uh, his business partner. Who are they, was, were they unconscious? I mean, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me get on my Google. Okay, hold on. I don't think they were unconscious. I just think they were using their power and position. But I'm talking That's about. What I just said. No, I'm talking about this illness right here that Bill Cosby was demonstrating with having sex with unconscious individuals. Maybe I think, he just didn't want to have to deal with asking. He just no, said, I'm just going to get it. And because I to do it. one of the women came forth of 50. She said she was one of his freaks and she said she loved him and she would do anything that he wanted to do. And she said they were doing it for years. And she got angry because he drugged her one time. Listen to this. And she came out and she said it. She said, I don't know why he did it because I would did whatever he wanted to do. Wow. As of February 2018, okay, after Harvey Weinstein 
was was brought down and had to leave his company and and and, and resign from all his you know his businesses and everything he was doing. There have been seventy one powerful men accused of sexual misconduct. Mm -hmm. Seventy one. And okay, and so do you actually think it's only seventy one men mm -hmm. in this United States of America? Who've been accused of sexual misconduct? I said powerful. Do you think it's only 71 powerful men in the United States of America where we have over billions of people living who have been accused of sexual misconduct? Well, they don't have, they gotta put 45 on here. So all I'm saying is this. Once again, I don't think it's about the power. I, do. I think these people are just sick predators who just enjoy using and and it's both. Okay, so here we go one right here. Now, nobody could believe that he would do what he did. Charlie Rose on Good Morning America. Why you wouldn't believe it? Look at old Ryan, look at old Charlie Rose. He's sitting there every day with Gail King and what's up? And Ch Ch how old is Bill Cosby? 78? So, 79? So track that from 14. How old is he? Charlie Rose would be the uh, same uh, one that, that was most vociferous uh, in his interviews, interviewing people that was accused of, of stuff like that. Look he, at Eddie Long. He was paying boys to have he, sex. He spoke out on Bill Cosby. Charlie Rose did. Ooh. Eddie Long watching gay pride parades. He had the five. <laughs> I, 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 Eddie Long. Bishop yeah. Long. What did he, he march? Bishop Long marched in gay pride parade, said gay people going to hell, and he was paying boys and having sex. He marched in the parade? He marched in gay pride Pull it up. Google, since you like Googling. Okay. Google Bishop Eddie Long he in the gay pride research. parade. He was marching in the parade, preaching against homosexuality, while sleeping and paying and paying young boys and buying BMW. So and that's a lesson. People privilege and power. People who are the most vociferous about talking about somebody else and Preaching about this are the main one doing it, so they can sit down somewhere. Okay, I got another one that people might not know. Russell Simmons. You can tell something's wrong with Russell. He, he was accused of by two women of uh, rape and assault by three others. He had to step down from all of his businesses. I'm pretty sure it's uh, And his business partner. Okay, they came after John Conyer, U.S. representative from Michigan. He was accused of sexual harassment by his employees. <laughs> Al Franken, the U.S. Senator from Minnesota. Donald Trump didn't want him to leave. Okay, just think about this. Think about when you were in high school, uh, the teachers, the male teachers who uh, possibly could be uh, sexual predators and who would touch it on kids and stuff. I remember it was... Oh, we don't want to go down there. I, I, right. I remember it was teach, teachers, female teachers who would be touching, touching, frisky, frisky, but you don't think anything about it because you're a little kid. But when you look back and you start thinking about it, I'm like, damn, that's well, we a sexual assault. We just had a case that happened at Houston High School when yeah. got the ladder and climbed up to the window. Yeah. So, I mean, so I'm not surprised about anything anymore in life. I'm not surprised about it either, but I'm just saying. So I'm just we saying. Got, we, got, we got all of this and and more. Mm -hmm. Outside of the, the 78, you got 28 more that were suspended or had to leave their job because of, of things being brought forward. And this is because of the... The, the movement of the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. where women have come forward and, 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 and talked about being mistreated and, and, and being harassed at work. Here go one at NFL Network. They had three prominent uh, 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 commentators that got wiped out in one day, Marshall Falk, Heath Evans, and I Taylor, because of the accusation of a co-worker who she sued all of them for sexual harassment and assault. And Eric Weinberg, she got all of them. She wiped them out because she was a. Uh, uh, she came in and she did uh, their, their 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 makeup. Their, yeah, thank you. The issue is this: uh, EEOC has about twelve thousand complaints per year mm -hmm. of uh, sexual assault victims, and out of those twelve thousand, eighty-three percent of them women. So, Damn. so you're telling me in the United States of America, where we have billions of people, only twelve thousand women are sexual assaulted per year. I don't believe that. No, that's so that's just reported. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is this. We have people who have privilege and uh, uh, positions and who are sick, who are taking advantage of individuals and who have been doing this in your family. You know who sexual predators are in your family. You know who are the drug users in your family. You know who are the thieves in your family. See, the Everybody knows family about this. can only get to the, usually their family members. They, that, that's who they prey upon. Uh, these people here, especially Harvey Weinstein, 